What's up guys, we're gonna roll beats. And today I wanna be showing you guys how to set up Cordimus in any DAW. So Cordimus is a music theory plugin that pretty much is, is built for Ableton. Uh, and it's a really cool plugin, uh, but you can't use it in other DAWs. So I figured out a way to actually use it in other DAWs. So I'll show you how to set up an FL Studio, but the same method will work for, you know, whatever DAW you wanna use. So I'll just show you really quick what Cordimus is. So this is what it looks like. Um, I can't entirely show you it because for some reason it's just, I don't know, it's just not popping up entirely, but I'll just show you what it does. So basically you can pick a chord or whatever. You can have your little chord pads here. You can... And it just plays it for you. And there's a bunch of stuff down here you can mess with, but obviously it's cut off um, because for some reason on Windows, it just is super large and I can't really control it. But yeah, you can kind of play around with ARPs. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to set this up. I'm not gonna waste any more time. So let's go ahead and hop into it. The first step is you're gonna need Loop MIDI. Now there are other MIDI softwares out there and I've tried them. They're not very consistent, but I know Loop MIDI is reliable. Uh, so we're gonna use Loop MIDI and you know, it's just easy to set up. So I'll, I'm gonna just set it up here with you. Uh, so I'll leave a link in the description for Loop MIDI. So we're gonna clip it, click click it, and you can just kind of just literally just click install, as you can see. Uh, you can't see my screen, yeah. So I'm gonna install it right here in front of you so you can see what it's looking like. Uh, and yeah, and I might have to blur something out. I don't know if it shows, to, but yeah, there we go. There's Loop MIDI, I'll launch it. Okay, so here we have our Loop MIDI. I'll take this away. So this is what it looks like, at least the version that I have. Um, and this is all you really need to do. Uh, you could make more ports if you want to. You could just make two if you wanted for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna be using this one. And if you want to actually, you can just name, we could just do this like the loop MIDI or the or the miss. All right, you can name it. So that's why I like loop MIDI, you can name it. So this is the first step. We have it all set up. All you really want to do now is uh, go ahead and open up your Ableton because if you have Cordimus, you should have Ableton because it's a Ableton specific uh, VST or whatever or plugin. So let's go ahead and head over there. Now we're in Ableton and I'll just show you the process here. So the first thing you want to do is when you open up Ableton, it should be like a clean slate. And I went ahead and tried to make everything as large as possible so you can kind of see the exact stuff because you know Ableton kind of everything's kind of small in Ableton. So go to options settings. And then you should go to your MIDI settings here, link tempo and MIDI. And I just have mine like this, so you can kind of go back and forth between the DAWs if you want to, but you can just have your loop ports already ticked. They should just look like that. And you should be good to go. So once that is done, all you need to do is go up here and click this keyboard thing or icon so you can play the notes. Okay, so click that. And then you're gonna go to your Cordimus where your Cordimus is. So right here, and I should probably name it. No, it's not letting me name. Uh, Cordimus, okay. Uh, now what you're gonna do is go to MIDI from, and you're gonna do computer keyboard. That's exactly what you're gonna click. And then on monitor, it'll be on auto, put it on in. Okay, this needs to be on in. And then MIDI two. Now, if you wanna use it in Ableton, all you need to do is just put it on the sound that you want. All right, and I've been playing it through Ableton this whole time, so it, you know, it's been working. This doesn't really matter. Now you're gonna change MIDI to your port. So it can be MIDI port one, zero, it could be here. You can see now it's not playing in Ableton. That's because it's playing in this port, which means we can use this in any DAW that we want. So let's go ahead and go back to FL Studio so we can use this in FL Studio. Finally, we are in FL Studio. So this is the last setup. So if you were using Studio One, Logic, whatever DAW you're using, you just need to navigate to your MIDI settings from here. So in FL Studio, go to Options, MIDI, and you can see we have our MIDI devices. So to make sure everything works, because sometimes when you use Loop MIDI and like these third-party MIDI ports, sometimes it can mess up and crash your DAW. So what I like to do just to be safe is go up top and put this port on zero or whatever port you want it on. I just put it on zero and then down to the same exact name. So you see loop MIDI port is no number. It's just pretty much zero. And this same exact one, 
we're going to enable it and put it on zero and this is to make sure nothing messes up i'll just do this just because i don't like dealing with it crashing and then we're going to close it okay now you're going to go to whatever sound you want to use right so if you're using contact whatever go to your options and then down here input put it on zero okay so this should be like this at first and then the input should be on zero and then you're all set up so now if i were to play let me pop this up if i were to play you can see now we're able to mess around with it and you know the cool thing about this and i'll just turn it off is it's pretty much seamless it's no different than you playing it in here so if you wanted to record this and i'll just put this on wait for it playing you'll see that it'll And then if we go, you can see it's in here. And it's humanized and everything like that. So that is the cool thing about this plugin. And I just wish it was a standalone, so it'd just be a lot easier. But yeah, that is how you set up Cordimus. Uh, you know, have fun, you know, playing with this new dog. It's a really cool plugin. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.